Foundation, along with a network of volunteers and supporters, grants final dreams for adults with a life-threatening illness. For one Arizona military family, the Dreams for Veterans program offered a trip of a lifetime to Washington, D.C. Cronkite News reporter Elizabeth Blackburn has their story. James and Sherry Malone may look like the typical D.C. tourists, but they are here for another reason, to fulfill a last wish. His dream was a trip here to Washington, D.C., and he just wanted to come bring us here, show us, you know, the monuments, show us the Declaration of Independence, you know, wanted to go to, you know, some of the museums. And Dreams for Veterans granted that wish. Dreams for Veterans had approved my father's dream of taking a trip to Washington, D.C. with our family. He was so excited to go. That's all he and I would talk about for that month. But Jim Malone never made it on the trip. He died the night before. But right up to the end, he just kept saying, you know, I, I can't believe that, you know, they're doing this for me and I'm so grateful. And he just really, it, it, it overwhelmed him. It overwhelmed him at the end, how much kindness, you know, just the huge outpouring of love and kindness that he was getting. Dreams for Veterans invited the Malones to an event in D.C. to honor the veterans who were granted wishes. When he first passed, they offered us you know, if you still want to go on the trip, go ahead, and we didn't want to. But it was really just an honor to be here and see the other veterans who had their dreams granted. Representative Matt Salmon presented them with a flag that flew over the Capitol in Jim's honor. The flag was flown for the Malone family in honor of James Malone. To honor the life of U.S. Navy veteran James Malone, your deep love of the country will never be forgotten. Thank you for your patriotism, selflessness, and brave service to your country. God bless you, and thank you so much. Thank you. As they toured around D.C., they say this was the trip Jim would have wanted them to have. It, it's been really wonderful, and it's, um, it, it's felt like Jim's been with us today. You know, he's, um, it was a last gift from him um, that we got to do this. In Washington, D.C., Elizabeth Blackburn, Cronkite News.